With viral infections, it is the T cells which are, I believe, the most important ones because they can attack the virus straight away and dispense with it if it's really strong long before the antibodies are raised. There are two main types of T cell responses. When the body has detected a pathogen, for example, the COVID-19 virus, type 1 helper T cells, Th1 cells, send messages quickly to other parts of the immune system in order to generate a response to the virus. This response then signals the start of another response dictated by T helper 2 cells, Th2, which then go off to arrange for programming of antibodies. However, with the Th2 response, there is more inflammation generated in the body. These responses work best when they are working together in equilibrium. Now, what happens when you get older is your T helper 1 declines. And from the age of 55, it gets weaker and weaker, down to when you're at 70, 75, it is very, very low. So what happens is the other aspect, the Th2, tries to rise and overcompensate. So we are more likely to have an increase in inflammation in the body. Excessive increases in inflammation can lead to increases in the incidence of cancer, and as we've seen since the beginning of the pandemic, worsening symptoms of COVID. I call this the butterfly wing effect, where the decline of one mirrors the rise of the other. Our research has shown that one of the reasons why the T helper 1 response declines or is not as active is because of the absence of vitamin D. And supplementation of vitamin D can restore this T cell activity. This helps to re-establish the equilibrium, bringing the Th2 responses down and therefore inflammation. As well as vitamin D, other agents have been found to increase the Th1 response in cancer patients. We've been able to increase many patients' life expectancy by using a drug called IMM-101 alongside their other treatments. We now have evidence of the importance of vitamin D. One shows that if you go into hospital with symptoms and your vitamin D level is above a normal level of 75 nanomoles, the chance of death is less than 2%. However, if it is low, below 30 nanomoles per litre, and you get symptoms and go into hospital, the chance of death is 70%. By correcting T cell responses with good vitamin D supplementation alongside this IMM 101 vaccine, we think that we can reduce the chance of having the more severe symptoms of COVID.